Welcome to the Handed Down Kitchen, where we bring antique recipes out of the past and back into the kitchen. Today we'll be showing you how to make this Victorian recipe for a sweet custard to be served with puddings. We had it with this Victorian jam roly-poly pudding that we made and it was delicious. The recipe we've used, like all of our Victorian recipes, is from Warren's Model Cookery and Housekeeping book, which was published in 1868, and it's titled Custard for Puddings. There's another recipe just for custard, which is meant to be eaten by itself as a dessert, but this one here is the one to use with puddings. To make this custard, you will need a pint of milk, 85 grams of sugar, two or three eggs, and to flavour, a bay leaf, a little nutmeg, and a salt spoonful of powdered cinnamon. To begin with, set a saucepan over a low heat and pour in the milk. As your milk warms up, crack your eggs and separate them. We'll only be using the yolks. Then beat these up and add them into your milk. We've used two eggs, but if you use three, your custard won't take as long to thicken. Then pour these into the milk. Then pour in the sugar, you can either use granulated or caster sugar, we're using granulated, and stir the eggs and the sugar into the milk until they're completely dissolved and fully combined. And now it's time to add in the flavouring. Start by grating in a little nutmeg and then add in the cinnamon and bay leaf. The recipe says you can adjust the amounts of these to your own taste, so add in as much or as little as you like. Increase the heat and boil the custard up until it gets to the thickness you want. If you like quite a thick custard like we've got, it'll take about 10 minutes if you're using two eggs and be quicker if you're using three. And that's your custard ready, so pour it into a serving jug or just straight onto your pudding. Either remove the bay leaf before you do this or just hold it back with a spoon, you don't want it getting into your pudding. Now your custard is ready to use however you like. The recipe makes enough custard for about four to six servings. It really was delicious, a great way to round off any old fashioned pudding. We hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please leave us a like. And if you'd like to see us recreate more antique recipes, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also find full instructions for this recipe and many more on our website, linked in the description box below.